This is the pack that probably gets used a lot for cragging when you've got a lot of gear, ice climbing when you've got a lot of volume of stuff. The pack is 30 ounces, 850 grams, and a really nice compact package. One thing I want to show you about this pack is that it has a removable frame. And we do that with a very simple solution. That solution is this tensioned aluminum loop that has this mesh back panel on here. For climbing, I actually like to take that out. And the reason I like to do that is when it's packed, the load kind of gives the pack some shape and, and, and form. And then when it's empty and I'm climbing, the pack will move whatever way my body is going to move. Because when you're climbing, you know, you're contorting into all kinds of different positions. You want the pack to kind of move with you. So this is a pretty typical selection of what I would take for a cold day of ice or mixed cragging. Usually put my rock gear right in the bottom because it's heavy. First aid kit, mittens down there, screws in next. Crampons near the top. Some more insulation. Everything we need for a day of cold climbing. We needed to come up with a tool attachment system that would take care of all these crazy radical shaped new tools. And so we have a pocket here on the back. The head of the tool slips in there. Side compression straps hold the shaft of the tool in. And one of the sort of philosophies that we had throughout developing this is we wanted everything to have multiple functions. So the side strap also compresses the pack and holds the shaft of the tool. These buckles that hold the head of the tools in, you can also clip those together and you can add a ski strap to the daisy chains on the back here and you can carry your skis vertically on the pack. You have your center strap here made of aluminum. When you open up the pack here, it's really easy to open. You just hold the bottom and the top and you pull that open and you have this nice big opening and the pack sits there and it's really easy to pack. One of the things we did with this strap is we made it removable so you can take it off there and you can attach it through this little loop here. You can have that strap running from there up to here and cinch it down and, and hold your rope on or extra gear, whatever it is. We just added this little rain fly feature that stuffs down inside of there. And so when it's overstuffed, you can pull that up and then pull this up. And then, you know, this is gonna protect your overstuffed load. I can put the top lid over the spikes of my ice tools and cinch that down so I protect those pointy things. I don't walking through downtown Chamonix on a busy afternoon. I don't have to worry about catching any tourists on those spiky spots. And if I just want to use the pack to compress my load, I can keep the spikes out and I can just cinch down on that as much as I want. On the top here, we have a, a vertically oriented opening here for the top lid so we can get, you know, whatever your headlamp or whatever it is out of there without your stuff falling out. These shoulder straps have risers here to help control the load. You've got a foam padding for your hip bones with uh, gear loops on both sides. The foam padding, you can strip off of here to make it a little lighter. You can also take the entire webbing waist belt off if you want. And I don't like to climb with a waist belt actually, so if I'm actually climbing with this, I'll often strip that off and, sh and shove it inside. And that makes our 35 liter extensionist pack.